happy that you guys really enjoy Café con Dulce. I know some of you are asking for makeup tutorials also. I do have some coming up. So today's episode is gonna be a little bit different than the rest only because I actually have a vlog coming up at the end of today's video. What I'm going to do is recap my experience during New York Fashion Week. This experience was really cool because I partnered up with Ole and I did their 28 day challenge. So I ended up using the Ole Total Effects 7-in-1 moisturizer with SPF 30, which is the one that I love. So I ended up using this for 30 days and also their under eye cream, but I also love their daily facials. I am obsessed with these little things to take my makeup off. And pretty much what they are is dry towelettes and I actually like to split them in half so I can use them even more. So that's just a little tip that I like to do, just cut them up with scissors or even just rip them with your hands. But these, you just get them wet underwater, you kind of lather it up and then you remove your makeup with it and then you can also rinse it off and just kind of go back over it all over again. So what I learned is that it's very important to actually stick to a skincare regimen. I know a lot of the times there's so many different products out in the market and they say, you know, you're gonna start to see noticeable results in X amount of days. But then someone like me comes along and since I do test out so many different products, I never really follow through the entire, you know, X amount of days that it's recommended for you to actually see change in your skin. And I also encourage you guys to partake in the 28 day challenge so you can see results for yourself. If you are someone like me and you have a lot of sunspots, that's gonna be very beneficial. You're gonna see a lot of change in that. And I do love that it's a daily moisturizer and it has SPF 30, so that's a really big plus. So anyways, I have footage for you at the end. This is not a fashion show. It was not what you usually think of when you think of a fashion week in New York. This was a beauty runway show. So we were walking the runway after 28 days without any makeup on. So we really showed our best skin. What I thought was really cool was that the whole focus while we were walking down the runway, there was only like one spotlight in our face and then the rest, we had kind of like this, you know, they, they described it as like this Harry Potter invisible cloak because once you put it on, you kind of disappear, not your face, but like your body disappears. And then they had these beautiful images projected onto the dress that we had on. All you saw were like florals all around and the backdrop on you. And the only thing that you saw walking down the runway was your face. So I thought it was really empowering to actually walk a runway show with no makeup on, just fully being who you are. So at the end of the show, we all changed into some jeans and we changed into these t-shirts and we all have like too bold, too determined, too kind. Uh, mine was too feminine and the reason I chose too feminine was because in the military, I was always told, and even after the military days, I was always told, wow, you're, you're too feminine to be a soldier. Even in the military, my, uh, my NCOs, they would always kind of like poke fun at the fact that I loved embracing my feminine qualities. It's almost like they saw that my feminine side was a weakness. A lot of the times people come up to me and they are genuinely surprised that I was in the military, that I was in the army. And they're like, you, you were a mechanic, you were in the army, like you, but you love makeup. And I'm like, okay. So you're saying that someone who loves makeup or loves to embrace their feminine side cannot be in the military? As a matter of fact, I think the female energy is a very strong and powerful energy just by nature in itself. So I think that's also something that needs to be changed in the way that we are perceived as women. Women are strong. We are so strong. And I realized that in my 30s. Wish I would have realized it a little bit sooner, but better late than never, right? I think one of the beautiful things that I discovered in the journey of discovering who I am was embracing all the qualities that make me who I am. And I found, and I think it's kind of hard to see these qualities in yourself, but I found for myself that I did have some negative qualities that I didn't want to actually claim as my own. But when you figure out exactly who you are, that is when you start to gain your power. You know why? Because if you do have negative qualities and you acknowledge those negative qualities, 
then you can take action to actually change them into something positive or use them to your advantage as opposed to letting them kind of rule your life. It's kind of like taking control of who you are. You know what I mean? Welcome to today's very exciting vlog for me. Um, I actually want to share with you guys my journey here in New York City and I'm actually here because of a very cool opportunity. So, I just got to my room. I got this super sweet note from the Olay team. <laughs> Do you guys want to see what's inside? So the show is happening on Thursday and I never in my wildest dreams would have thought that I'd be walking a runway show during New York Fashion Week. It's just insane, completely insane guys. But I'm telling you, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Don't ever feel like something is impossible. So. I got my sweet little note. Notes are my favorite thing ever because I love to journal. So this is going in my journal with a bunch of pictures from this whole adventure that I'm about to be a part of. Wow, this is so cute. This is a mantra band, Inspire and Empower. And it says Fearless. It's a tank top, Fearless Squad. Oh my gosh, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, I'm part of the freaking fearless squad. That's cool. And I can't wait for tomorrow. It's gonna be freaking amazing. And just to see everybody else there and just be fearless and just, you know, owning everything about you, every little thing about you, just owning it. And I refuse to ever let it be hidden. Hi guys, I just got back from rehearsal. So I'm actually getting ready now for dinner. All right, so I'm using this palette by Dose of Colors. It's called Hidden Treasure. And I've had this for a really long time and I brought it with me because it has so many beautiful, like different kind of foil finish eyeshadows in here, which I thought would be really nice since I have this palette here, the Naked Basics, and I could just do kind of like a basic eye and then I can use some of these gorgeous colors just to add something interesting on the eye so i am going to be doing liner today so i've been using the ole total effects this is the anti-aging moisturizer seven effects in one and this is really great also if you have some dark spots which is usually something that i always struggle with is dark spots because of the sun so it's really nice to use to fade it it also has spf so it's a really great uh, moisturizer for the daytime so I carry it with me whenever I travel and it's always on my vanity when I'm doing my makeup so I have that underneath I'm actually gonna take it off because um, I'm gonna take it off because it's nighttime makeup which by the way I need to stop talking and get to work so let me do my makeup and then I'll be back to show you my finished look all right so I am done with the glam I ended up doing liner and lashes and this beautiful nude lip and this is my outfit this is what I'm wearing so I'm wearing this blazer that I've had since last fall and it's a little oversized on me because I'm super tiny so it kind of fits like a dress and then I just cinched it up with this bomb ass belt had to had to do the belt 
And then I'm just wearing some little booties, nothing too crazy. I wanted to be comfortable but chic. And for the handbag, I am going to be I am going to be using this handbag today, which is from Zara from last year and it goes perfect with my outfit. Good morning. Starting off my day by putting on these baggage claim under eye hydrators. Have a little bit of a headache. Today's a big day. I think I'm just overthinking everything like I always do. Start off my day like this. Got my breakfast. I ordered grapefruit. I actually ordered a juice, but they didn't have juice. But I am fine with the real deal. So I have been quite obsessed with grapefruit for a while now. Since like two weeks actually, since I went to the Pelican Hill. It's really great for you guys there's so many like look it up online and you're gonna be like wow I need to implement this into my lifestyle into my diet every single morning so what I like about it is that it keeps me full longer and it gives me like the proper fuel that I need throughout the day and it's also like cancer fighting so many wonderful properties that it has so it's like a must have for me in my household now it's like everyday grapefruit I need it and I also got oatmeal so I'm gonna have my breakfast. I already took out my under eye baggage claim patches and I am prepping for the big day today. It's all about how you start your day that's going to reflect the rest of your day to a certain degree, of course, because there's a lot of things that are out of our control. But at the same time, healthy habits is like my new thing. Okay, what's something good that I can do for myself? And it's definitely prayer, meditation, some sort of physical activity even if it's just like stretching for a little bit honestly instead of just like ruling out of bed and not doing anything like stretch your body out get it moving and have a healthy breakfast here for you so whatever topic that you would love for me to discuss if you have a question that you just want me to dedicate a whole cafe con dulce episode please leave me a comment because once again i am here to provide content for you not for me for you so with that being said have a blessed and beautiful day and i'll see you in my next video bye